History is not a story of good and evil, boys. It's a story of power. We are slaves to the British, Sir Casemate. Yeah. Yeah. Independence to Ireland! You Damn do me. this and you lose me! How can I betray the man I love? This is the Coast Guard police. I see the ship approaching. He'd sooner betray his country than betray his principles. It's time, Roger. Casement has always been described to me as a kind of B-list historical celebrity. I came across him when I was in the Amazon actually looking for the grave of another explorer and completely by chance someone had mentioned Casement's activities. I was completely blown away. I thought it was a fictional story and was shocked that I didn't know it better considering the impact it has really had on history. Simon Fujiwara is a British artist that we worked with before. Um, I curated him in a group show called I Know You, and at that point, about seven years ago, we talked about Roger Casement. We researched in the National Library. At some point, we both got obsessed with him, but Simon, it really took a hold of him, and I think, to look at that character of Casement under the lens of someone like Simon. It just seemed a great opportunity to really explore all the possibilities, because he does merge fantasy, reality, in a really original way that questions our place in history and in time. The problem with Casement is how interesting he is. When you're dealing with a life story, it's full of specifics, and people around that person try to generalise those specifics. So many people have commented on him and wanted to manipulate him to their own ends. So ultimately, it's not so interesting what I find interesting about Casement, but what a generalised public or a corporation would need Casement to be. The individual is something that is so complex and rich that we will never fully understand it, but the structures that are in place around that individual are something we can look at. The key for me was the discovery of a letter in the National Archives in Dublin, dated from 1934, in which Universal Pictures executives wanted to create a biopic of Roger Casement's life. It shocked me that in 34, Universal Pictures was already this massive industry that was taking the content of historical lives and putting them through a formal process to create these products, these biopics. And it made me think about the way in which biopics today are constructed and the constraints and liberties that they can take with a supposed true story. I think a commission allows an artist to really create what they want to create by working with a contemporary artist through history and a historical figure. It reopens to a whole new generation who the character of Roger Casement is, what is 1916. It's mapping out new territory, which I think is exciting for the audience. I think they'll be surprised, dazzled, and hopefully a journey that they will take on Casement themselves. Like, who is this man? What is it about? The project stems out of my lifelong problematic relationship with narrative. On the one hand, I know we need narrative in some ways to structure our lives, and there is narrative in life, but there's a point in which narrative starts to control us or manipulate us. Other forces, markets, global politics, start to skew and override what can be liberating about narrative. As soon as you enter the galleries, this work is very immersive. It's unashamedly seductive in how it looks, how it sounds, and how it connects with the audience. Most films, you go to sit down and you get your popcorn. This is very different. You are physically walking through it, so you are actively engaging and leave with a sense of you've seen a Hollywood film, but actually you've experienced a Hollywood film. In a Hollywood film, you're static and the movie comes to you. Here you have to go to the film. So this project is between the dream state of Hollywood and the reality of being a physical person in space. It's a Hollywood film without pictures. It's a historical hero story without the hero. Um, and it's an artwork with no artist.